lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great. Oh! gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 fighter. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Just misses there with the left. Big power shot there. Nice one-two there. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. Can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscious? One, normally, <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's gonna be sleep. Nice punch there by Al. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there, shades of DC against John Jones in the second meeting. I mean, great job of getting it close and throwing that uppercut from a great angle. You're just gonna stonewall him. No, oh, I love it. I hit him with a ton of mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you, John. It was one of my nicest and most fun moments. Well, as usual, this outstanding striker has come out of There's another power takedown there. Aldo gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, nice right hand coming. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice stick to the body. Way to make oh, up. Nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Right hand on point. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kicks. Oh John, that was so nice. What a So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Look at him chopping the wood. He's chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Well, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope to follow with John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, we saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. The big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. A right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Just missing on the uppercut there. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. 
Just missing on the high kick there. Nice elbow. I can't tell if that opened up a cut or not. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Oh, nice nice there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the kill? Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Real oh, 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 oh. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice punch there by Alf. Huge block there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Ooh. Nice head kick. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be as that is how you scramble, folks. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense. He's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively. And he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Big punch lands over the top. Positive follow this one. Aldo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Aldo gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Aldo. Gets the elbow up into the target. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice punch here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, there you go. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to... Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. This is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Ooh, head kick lands for Herbie. Aldo shot is blocked. Throws the right hand there. Oh, hard 
work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Aldo gets absolutely melted by that head kick. That was a nice strike. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Take down attempt late in the round, and he gets it. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Nice job of hiding that hit kick. Attempts the front kick there. Aldo gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. So a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I you. mean, those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not do everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. And every now and again, he would set down with a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. coming. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And they separate. He is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Slips the punch nicely there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. He gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. Oh, oh. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that his yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Boom, boom. Aldo gets the takedown. Here's for Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. All right, into full guard here. Look for a pass immediately in the half guard. Keep advancing the position. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Aldo's got the full mount. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round.
Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Good stick. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Superman punch lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Albert. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Try to establish that jab. He gets caught with that punch. Head kick. And that one certainly found the target. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Albert. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great. Oh! One minute to go in the fight. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it hurt very bad. is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by God. 